everyone seems so friendly at the moment because I think they want the tourist dollar. But apparently this is the tourist street. It's where we're going to stay. So it's great. They've got calisas everywhere. And for you who don't know what a calisa is, a calisa is a term going back from the Spanish colonial times, which was a horse drawn carriage. And in the Philippines, even down to Manila, you can still find calisas uh, running the tourist spots. But I think here I'm going to see a lot. And I'm pretty sure before the night's out, I'll be taking a ride in a calisa. So my ride today was 259 kilometers but i've got to say this is probably the best ride i've had while i've been in the philippines on all the bikes i've ridden since i've been here uh, there was no freeways there was no tollways so uh, it was just b roads all the way uh, mainly the marcus highway on and off there's a couple of detours because they're constantly improving and making better roads but being during the week um, traffic was light Yes, going through some small towns was a little bit slow, but then you got to some very open roads, which is rare to actually have long stretches of open roads where you have no vehicles in front of you and no vehicles behind you. Um, so that, that was nice. Humidity levels were, were great. Uh, for one of the first times on a long ride, I was not absolutely soaking wet on arrival. Um, and so far being in vegan, 259 miles or 259 kilometers I've done on the saddle today. Um, I feel great, um, I'm not tired at all. I've got to say that GSX 1000 GT is an extremely comfortable bike. Uh, whether you're riding slow, riding fast, it, it, was, uh, it was perfect for me. Gas, absolutely no problem. I still have a third of a tank after filling up 259 kilometers ago. So yeah, it was a, it was a great ride coming up. Uh, West Coast, I saw the sea on and off, some absolutely beautiful views, uh, things I want to go back and see again. It's things, it's not until you take the road and then you actually get a chance to explore areas rather than cities, do you see some fantastic views, which is not on the tourist map. So I'm looking forward to the ride back. I'm going to be going further north to the furthest, northest tip of Luzon and then making my way back down through a few other towns. I'm not going to say what they are just yet. Through a few other towns, we're going to head back out to the west coast and head back down towards Pangasinan and Mangaturem and stop uh, for a little bit longer on some of the very, very scenic beaches and stretches I saw on the way up, which is great. So the plan tonight, I'm going to walk the cobbled streets. So I'm going to find some Spanish, <coughs> excuse me, some Spanish colonial food, I hope. I mean, this was colonized in the 16th century. Um, this is the most preserved city in the Philippines, uh, carrying the Spanish heritage. And since I've been here, which is only just over an hour, gave me a time to have a shower and come down to the courtyard and the hotel I'm staying in, which is very colonial. Um, so I'm sure that I'm gonna be finding some sites and hopefully some food, which will bring back a little bit of that nostalgia. But uh, so far, I'm really, really impressed and it's definitely worth the ride coming up here today. All right, I'll catch up with you guys later. Bye. Hi. You know, I think I definitely came here at the right time. Um, I'm not saying soft season. Yes, it's the rainy season, but it's not crowds and crowds of tourists, um, which is fine. You know, everyone's got a right to be here. But it's so nice that I can actually walk in the middle of the road. There's no cars, there's no motorcycles going up and down. And everyone's just strolling along, singing a song and taking their time. And I'm looking for some Spanish food. Hopefully there's gonna be some coming up right ahead. Unfortunately, earlier this year, um, in a place called Abra, about 47 kilometers from Vigan, there was a very, very large earthquake and it affected Vigan quite a lot actually. And so some of the historic buildings are actually closed to the public currently, including churches, because of cracks and they have to have engineers come in to look at the suitability of the buildings to make sure they can be used by the general public. So that's a little bit of a shame because I wanted to have a look at some of the churches. 
because um, they can be quite spectacular with some of the architecture they have, especially here in the north of Luzon, actually all over the Philippines to be honest with you. But uh, sitting here in the restaurant going through the menu, you'll be happy to know they have, uh, I've got to read this, they have uh, American breakfast mm -hmm. at 270 pesos, but they also have a Mabuhai breakfast, which is a Philippine breakfast, at 250 pesos. So there you go. You still get value for money if you go for the Filipino cuisine. But for the rest of the menu, yes, there's lots and lots of local favorites from Ilocano food, but then lots of Italian food on the menu as well. Pasta, and then the appetizers, buffalo wings, chicken wings, um, cheese dips. But I've managed to find some crispy pato, and I've also managed to find some local vegetables, which is great. And I'm gonna have that, and see how I go with this. Hopefully it's gonna be great. Well, I've just had a really big dinner, so I think maybe I should join these guys. What do you think? Have a look at this. Huh? Only in the Philippines.